the angel Gabriel reveals the name of Jesus to Mary and Joseph before Jesus was born. And God the Father exalted Jesus to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bend of those in heaven and on earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Salvation comes through Jesus, for the Holy Scripture says, There is no salvation through anyone else, nor there is any other name on the heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The name Jesus gives hope to sinners, for through his name all receive forgiveness. His name gives comfort and healing to the sick and the afflicted. His name also gives assurances to our prayers, for the Lord reminds us, whatever you ask in my name, I will do. In my name, you shall cast out devils. You shall speak in tongues. You shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. May we always be preserved in the holy name of Jesus. In the gospel, John the Baptist draws his disciples' attention, and of course, our attention to Jesus when he points at him, saying, This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. We repeat this beautiful message of John the Baptist at every Mass when the priest says, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. We are reminded that the Holy Communion you receive is the person of Jesus, the Lamb that was slain for our salvation. What we are about to receive right now today in Holy Communion is the Savior of the world. We carry him in our hearts when we receive him in the Holy Eucharist. As Mary carried Jesus to her cousin Elizabeth and to the world, so we do carry Jesus when we receive him in our hearts.